this is kind of just my initial reaction. I must admit that I'm absolutely, absolutely stunned at the choice, uh, not for any negative reason. I'm not so concerned about how he handles the press. He's a very bright guy. I think he'll be fine with the media. My concern is, and I believe, that you know, a manager has to be the leader of the team. And you're getting a very young young manager with virtually no uh, no major league experience uh, to take over the role. I know that they were rushed with this, uh, but you know my initial choice over the winter was hands down Joe Duraj, uh, Joe, Joe Girardi. But um, the way things are now, uh, managers uh, have to be analytical guys. It, the baseball has moved into a new realm, a new era. And um, the old school guys are out. And um, it's certainly, I believe now, uh, that philosophy is within this organization. Um, uh, That's my feeling. But I think my initial reaction is um, I was just informed a half hour ago I was floored. Was your first reaction that they needed to go in a different direction, similar to what we were talking about with John Harper, that they needed an experienced guy who had done this job before to come in this late in an off season and take the reins? Well, you know, it's unfortunate what happened with, with baseball right now, let alone how it affected the Mets uh, at this late date. But, uh, you know, the manager is a very key, key position. And I think what the trend is happening in baseball now is that the – People up on the front office are taking much, much more control. And by uh, by doing that, they relinquish the power of the manager. Players know what's going on. And uh, I just think that the manager's in that clubhouse day in, day out for seven months. And he's on that bench. And he has to be the the top sergeant and, and the leader in that clubhouse. Uh, as well as on the field. I I think that that's being diminished in today's game. I I don't agree with it. I think that, uh, you know, they can work hand in hand. Throughout baseball, there has always been uh, head-to-head confrontations between general managers and managers. Look at Davey Johnson and Frank Cash. They always locked horns. Whitey Herzog, in my experience, would not have taken the cardinal job if he wasn't have the, if he didn't have the dual role of being the general manager as as well as the manager on the field, so there's always been that conflict where you have differences of opinions, and ultimately the general manager is the general and he makes the final decision. Uh, the, man, the manager can just only plead his case. Um, going on from there, I guess uh, you know there's Rojas at least has a feel for. For the ball club, even within the organization, that's a positive that I I, I glean from it. Uh, another thing too is, this is a team. Uh, Bernie Van Wagenen, they, they want to win. This team's ready to win. So this is why I think this is such a critical choice for a manager right now. This is not a team rebuilding. This is a team that is they 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 think they can win and they want to win now. And so. Uh, the bottom line is they have a lot of talent, a lot of young talent, a lot of good attitudes on this team going forward. And, um, you know, I played for managers I I didn't like. I never really cared whether they were good managers or bad managers. Uh, but you go out there and you play, and you, you're professional, and you go, out and you go out and do your job. Everything else is none of your business. Your job is you're paid to perform on the field. If this team performs up to the level of the talent, which I think they have, they will be in the thick of it. 